All right, so this video we're going to learn about um, how to create a drip campaign for your sellers and buyers on your MLS Stratus. So basically, you're going to the first thing you want to do is go to contacts. After you've logged in, obviously you're going to be logging into your MLS website. And then from there you're going to go ahead and create a prospect. And let's say create the name of the client. We're going to call him Rob. And we're going to call these uh, short sale in Queens. And then you have the email to yourself and an email client. Let's say the email client, I'll put in another email address here. And you can send the email to other people as well. You could choose here whether or not you want full address, no address to reflect, or client medium. You can decide on how you want it to show on a person's email address. The other part here is you have the expiration date when you want this to stop. So we hit continue. You're going to do a quick search, residential, available. Hit continue. And let's pick Queens. And from here, we can pretty much pick a uh, number of bedrooms if you want to, uh, three. And then you could select right here. If it's going to be a short sale or not and if you want to show REOs you can do it right here as well but for this example we're just going to do short sales so now that you have that what I recommend is you pretty much okay we'll go back down to the bottom you save the prospect now it's saved Okay, and now you see all the properties that are listed here, and it says search result limits to 500, and these are all minimum three bedrooms and up. So you could always go back and change this because 500 is a lot of records. So let's say we want to change it back, we go to the back button, and we'll say we just want between three and four bedrooms. And we want two full baths. And we would like it to be single family. Oops. Got my phone service going off at the same time here. All right. So now we've selected what we wanted. We're going to save the prospect. You hit OK. And now you have 198 records, so you've minimized everything. And this is all of Queens, and anything that's included in Queens, our local MLS here includes Brooklyn under Queens. So I don't, I have no reason, I know, no, I have no clue as to why that happens. But uh, it is what it is. You can sort it out. If you want to, you could always sort it out by towns as well. So now we're going to go ahead and hit email listings. And here you go. It's going to go to that address. And the cool thing that you could do is if you have a mailing list, you know, let's say you have buyers at gmail.com. Uh, that, that's not a real address, but let's say, for example, that's the name of your mailing list. You can have this search happen every time every day or every week however you want to set it up and every time a new property comes on the line it'll send the email to your mailing list which could be buyers or hey who knows this could be investors at gmail.com and they continuously keep getting all the hot properties that are coming onto the market and it's very automated uh, it all depends on how you want to work it if you want to Go ahead and do consumer full where they see the address and everything else. You can do that as well, but also you can control how you want them to view the flyer. And that's pretty much it. And then you hit send and you are all set.